What's up guys, QEJ3000 here, and welcome to part 1 of Let's Play Sonic Generations, and the final game in the Sonic the Hedgehog Marathon. So before we start the uh, actual game, I want to go into my old profile, because I realized that you can only have one profile in this game before you have to delete it, and I think that's ridiculous, but, um... See, I haven't played this game in two and a half years up to doing this Let's Play. Two and a half years. Last time I played this game was when I did all the achievements for it. So, really I'm just, uh, this, this is what it looks like when you have basically 100% in the game. Um, I'm kind of showing this off just as kind of, you know, to remind myself when this profile's gone that I did once have... 100% completion I had all the red stars and everything um, which once we start the actual let's play I'm gonna lose all that because I can only have one profile at a time so I'm really kind of just showing this part off as kind of you know for myself because I don't think I'm gonna go through this and do 100% completion again it took me a long while and my motivation back then was achievements. Now that I have all the achievements in this game, you know, I don't see a need. So, basically, this is the main hub world. This is the collection room where you get all the, uh, you know, like, here's all the cutscenes that we're gonna be seeing in the game. I have every piece of artwork um, collected. Lots of music. And again, if you're, um, if you want to see the main game, uh, just bear with me. Um, it'll, we'll be there, like, in a minute or so. I just kind of want to show this off really quick. You can choose a lot of different music. Like, here's Mushroom Hill Zone. Um, Live and Learn by Crush40. Uh, what else? What I'm Made Of by Crush40. One of my favorites by them. I absolutely love the guitar in this one. Uh, Sonic Boom from Sonic CD. I can just see the copyright notices coming now. Ah, bullshit on that. Anyways, uh, that'll do for that, I think. So, that's three minutes of time spent doing that. Ah, <sighs> current save data will be deleted, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, fine. So, where are we gonna end up now? Also, I did only practice a few levels, so, um... A lot of this is going to be semi-blind. Well, we seem to be in a revamped version of Green Hill Zone. And not off to a good start in it either. So a lot of the music in this game is like... It's like a techno remix of its counterpart from the actual game it came from. So I really like, uh, you know, all the throwbacks that they did in this game. I absolutely love this game. I think Sega did an amazing job on it. Just everything in it, just, you know, like, it just makes you feel so, you know, nostalgic. I mean, this game was made in 2011, which was the 20 year anniversary of Sonic. The original game having come out in 1991, so this game was made to celebrate 20 years of Sonic, and oh my god, did it celebrate it good. We get, you know, so much, you know, throwback to, you know, music to, you know, stages and just different things that have happened in Sonic's history. I mean, it's, it's just such a great, you know, it's so well done. That's all I can really say about it. This is such a good game. So, the deal with this, which we'll come to find out, is that, um, 
every uh stage that we do there is an act one and an act two like um like the other sonic games we've done previously um act one of each stage is classic sonic which is what we're doing right now he's shorter than modern sonic and he's a brighter blue than modern sonic act two of every stage is modern sonic which is you know the perspective of like behind his back not a side scroller i hope i got enough footage to remind myself of how you know you know what it was like having the full game 100 percent complete ah oh, shame i had to give it up what the hell is this guy? He sure wasn't in Sonic 1. Clocks. He'll be here any second. Hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! You guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. 20 years old. Like it? I love it! And the birthday party of a five-year-old. At least Amy's gone. That's a good thing. Ugh. Where am I? So, a lot of this game is going to be semi-blind, because I really don't remember a lot of it. So, here we have a bland white uh, Green Hill Zone. Yeah, I know it says question mark. It's Green Hill Zone. And we're going into Act 2, where we have modern Sonic to play with. Since I won't be able to practice this, because it auto-saves, and... I don't have another profile to go to to practice. Um, you know, I, a lot of this I'm not going to be able to practice. So, uh, that might not be good. And since I haven't played this game in two and a half years, I really don't remember a lot about it. I mean, like, I know I practiced a few levels before I recorded, but I really don't remember... Like, because I remember there being, like, a lot of side stuff you had to do. Like, I faintly remember that. So, I don't really remember what there is, but uh, I'll find out as I go along. So, this is what uh, Green Hill Zone looks like from modern Sonic's perspective. Uh Oh, I didn't mean to take the lower route. I swear, a lot of- I found from my practicing that a lot of this game, uh, 
the uh, inputs aren't very good. Like, like you have to be spot on with a lot of jumps in order to really make it. Hold on, I think, yes. See, I should have gotten into those red rings, but I didn't. So one, here's one cool thing you can do with uh, Sonic, with modern Sonic, which is you can, uh, you can do little tricks, like when you have a big jump. The only problem is it doesn't last very long. I think the most I've ever gotten was maybe eight, an eight combo. That's the only problem with them is that they don't last very long. Big fish wants me. I really love the background. It just... You know, it makes it so much more lively than it was, you know, in the actual Sonic 1 with the original Green Hill Zone. Where everything just, it just wasn't, I mean, the background just wasn't that appealing. Maybe it was for the time, but this makes the background a lot more appealing. I mean, I mean, the whole color scheme of this game, I guess you could say, is really good. A lot of things about this game are good. One downside, I think, would probably be um, the controls. They're a bit finicky, as some may say. I don't really... Use, there's some words that I just... I don't know. I, I If you've seen my previous Let's Plays, you know I like to use big words. I don't know why I do that. But finicky isn't one of them. I, don't know, I try to make myself seem smart, even though I'm like not. Anyway, so that is Green Hill Zone complete. And because I didn't die, I get the perfect, which gives me an S rank. At least the loading screens aren't as bad as Sonic 06. Hey, Tails is saved. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Probably more than weeks. Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Well, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Hmm. So if you paid attention to the conversation, when Sonic said... That place looked awfully familiar, and Tails said, not to me. That is such a great reference. It, because, of course, Tails wouldn't know it, because Green Hill Zone was from Sonic 1, and Tails didn't appear until Sonic 2, so of course he wouldn't know it. Anyway, so you press Y in the hub world. It keeps telling me, even though I've already played this game before. Basically, uh, you can choose whether you play Act 1 or Act 2 first. Act 1 will always be Classic Sonic, Act 2 will always be Modern Sonic. And, yeah, that's basically that. Um, you press Y in the hub world to switch between them, and you can do their respective levels. So we're doing uh, Chemical Plant Act 1 now.
I'm gonna have to pay attention to the time, though. And also, um... So, every... There are nine, like... Nine levels, I guess you could say, each with two acts. And each one has a friend that we need to save. It's so weird going through this game and having to find the red stars again. So red stars are basically the collectible of this game, in a sense. I can't believe I did that. Oh, why? Why? Alright, um, looking at the time, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do Act 2 of a chemical plant in this part. Also, with this, if you go into the water, uh, the music gets, like, muffled. I don't remember if it did that in Sonic 2, because I recorded that game, like, a couple months ago, I think. Maybe not a couple months ago, but a kind of a while ago. Plus, I've had other things going on. Ah. Please don't hit me. Oh, I am just not doing good tonight. Anyways, I remember a lot of red stars being, like, really hard to get. I know my conversation's all over the place, but, you know, when you can't practice, you really don't know what to say. I mean, like, you don't, you can't organize your thoughts, really, I guess, is the best way to put it. I didn't take this route during practicing, so I really hope I don't die. Also, um, if you noticed, um, first of all, I just missed a, uh, red star. I just saw that, uh, classic Sonic cannot homing attack, but modern Sonic can. So I find, uh, I think I like, uh, modern Sonics better. Okay, I don't know what's going on. See, like that. Did you see, if you saw him moving, like, forward, and he just kept moving forward into that ramp, I was not moving him. That's what I mean about the controls being really finicky. Is, you know, they're, they're sensitive, I guess is the best way to put it. They are sensitive. Alright, so let's see what happens now. And each act you complete brings more color to the place. A lot of this game has to do with time. If you haven't noticed already. Yeah, I hate having to unlock all this again. Alright. Yeah, let's do, uh... Let's do Act 2 with, with Modern Sonic. So, uh... After this, we'll end the part. There's probably going to be a cutscene after this. After that cutscene, we'll end the part. Now, the music in Act 2 of this is... Oh, my God. Eargasm beyond belief. It's like a techno rock remix of the Chemical Plant music. I mean, it's so good. After practicing this, I looked... Because I hadn't played this game in two and a half years, if I, as I've said many times throughout the past 19 minutes. So I, after practicing this level, though, I went on YouTube and looked up this music track. And, oh my god, it was, oh. Definitely gonna get this on my phone, no doubt. So in these sections, you'd either, uh, LB or RB to move Sonic 1, uh... One space to the left or right. Oh, we almost jumped over it. Or, I mean, ran over it, not jumped. So, there are some parts in, uh... In Modern Sonic's, uh, levels where you do have to do, um, side-scrolling parts. But... Then you'll get right back to the, uh... Oh. 
you'll get back to the uh, whatchamacallit the 3d parts and how weird it is playing the act two of these levels uh like green hill and, Chem green hill and chemical plant uh once we get later into the game like uh you know like crisis city and uh seaside hill it's gonna be the reverse it's gonna be odd to see um classic sonic Oh, okay. Come on, we gotta get through here. I hope he put that in his mouth and not wasting it. Oh, he didn't. Great. Okay. Now that's bullshit enemy placement right there. Oh, come on. Down. Or oh, whatever. I was trying to spin dash, but for some reason it wouldn't let me. I don't know why. God, this music, though. Alright, so now the water's rising, and we gotta get out quick. Oh, come on. Yeah, as good as this game is, the controls, I now realize, are not that good. They definitely could have done better on the controls. Oh, come on. Okay. Why? Why? I just want to know why. What's going on here? What is going on? There we go. Oh, th this part with all the fire. Running through the fire. Whatever. Not running, you know. Diving, I guess you could say. That just part there looks so good. I definitely, I definitely say the positives outweigh the negatives in this game. Absolutely. This part really is running long. Wow. Aw, didn't get enough points. So even though I got a perfect, it only bumped me up to an A. Sonic! Tails! This chemical plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. And that pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. Well, the silhouette looks like Amy, I think, as far as who we saved. Yep. You saved me, Sonic. I was afraid I'd never be able to flirt with you again. Ah! I'm gonna throw you back in, bitch. Haha. <laughs> uh, I don't like you, Oma Chow. We'll talk about that next time. Thank you guys for watching part one, which has run ridiculously long. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in part two when we continue our quest to save our friends and find out what the hell is going on here with the, all this nostalgia. So.
Until next part, peace out.